Guys, try nyo tong bagong Instagram filter ng PlayStation 5. Huh? Ganda nung model, sumusunod. See that? Pati yung ilaw tapos yung shadow, nasisimulate eh. Panguto sa mga tao, mga kaibigan. Makunwari may PS5 ka na. Galing oh. Kala mo, totoo eh. Parang pwede mo nang hawakan yung box eh. Tiyan mo. What? Yo, what's up guys? My name is Glock and welcome to a very special video kung saan ma-unbox na natin ang pinakahinihintay na PlayStation 5. No, seriously, this is the box, okay? Baka sabihin nyo Instagram filter to. It's, it's, it's the actual PlayStation. So, yep, nakuha ko na ang aking PlayStation 5 courtesy of Sony PlayStation themselves. Thank you very much. And uh, this is the standard version. Hindi to yung uh, uh, digital version. Because you see there's like the, the disc slot right here. So, this is pretty good. So, super thank you to our friends from PlayStation for sending this to us early. By the way, the official launch of the PlayStation 5 here in the Philippines is on December 11. Pero sa ngayon, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo ang lahat ng dapat nyong malaman tungkol sa... PS5. By the way, my giveaway tayo mamaya. Hindi po PS5, okay? We're gonna give away some PlayStation goodies later on. So, do stick around for how to join. Para sa video na to, hindi lang tayo mag unbox kundi papakitaan ko rin kayo ng gameplay demo kung saan malalaman natin kung gaano kabilis nga ba ang PlayStation 5. Pero bago ang lahat, magkwentuhan muna tayo, okay? Gusto ko muna i-share sa inyo yung mga best memories ko with the PlayStation. Sa mga di nakakaalam, I am am a super duper PlayStation fanboy. Halata naman, di ba? I got like, the cap with the pins. I have PlayStation uh, memorabilia everywhere. Even, I'm even wearing a PlayStation shirt. Ayan, oh, see that? Ganun po ang ka-fanboy ng PlayStation. Alam na alam nyo na yan kung matagal na kayong support, supporter ng channel. Ko. But, yep. Bago pa ako naging YouTuber at bago pa ako nagka-gaming PC, PlayStation games na talaga yung pinaka-madalas kong dinalaro. So, napagdaanan ko na lahat ng mga generations ng PlayStation, yung PS1, PS2, PSP, PS3, PS4, and finally, the Plush Speed 5! So, my best memories with the PlayStation 1 is, ironically, all the times I wasn't playing the PS1. Or rather, all the times I was watching my family play it. Nung nagka PS1 kami, I think I was only 7 years old or maybe even younger. And back then, I sucked so much at playing. Siguro yung nalalaro ko lang na matino ay yung Crash Bandicoot or uh, Crash Team Racing, Metal Slug, tapos mga fishing games. Pero yung kuya ko, yung linalaro niya, Final Fantasy, sukuden yung mga JRPGs, tapos yung papa tito ko naman, linalaro nila yung Gran Turismo, yung Metal Gear Solid, yung mga laro na mahirap intindihin ng bata, pero pag pinanood mo, nakakaaliw pa rin. So, kahit hindi ako yung naglalaro, nai-immerse pa rin ako dun sa story at gameplay. Actually, yun yung pinaka-concept at theme nitong YouTube channel ko, yung backseat gaming. Kasi, alam ko, di naman lahat marunong maglaro ng games or hindi talaga makapaglaro dahil sa kakulangan ng gamit o kaya oras. Kaya gusto ko rin para na sa inyo yung saya ng paglalaro sa pamamagitan ng backseat gaming. At yun din ang dahilan kung bakit mas prefer ko yung mga single player story driven games. Kasi mas marami tayo natututunan dun eh. Kesa naman dun sa mga multiplayer games. I mean, uh, well, it depends on the game probably. But para sa akin na, the best talaga yung mga single player. And that's the reason why uh, I have a lot of trivias to share with you guys during my streams or that's also the, re the reason why I prefer speaking in English kasi ang dami ko nang nababasa mga English English dialogues at kaya ang awkward kung magtagalog. <laughs> Ganun. Fun fact! Ang PlayStation 1 ang unang nag-engganyo sa akin sa pag-fishing. Okay, sobrang daming fishing games dati sa PS1. At para sa akin, yun pa rin yung mga pinaka the best in terms of mechanics and gameplay. Lalo na yung real fishing too. 
The PlayStation 2 is probably the era of multiplayer games. I mean, I first time ko siguro maglaro ng PS2 nung grade 4 na ata ako. Tapos yun yung mga panahon na usong-uso yung mga PS shops or yung mga rental shops. Doon kami naglalaro or nakikilaro na lang ako sa bahay ng pinsan ko. Tapos siguro nakailang oras kami kakalaro ng Lord of the Rings every single day. Sobrang lupit ng co-op ng Lord of the Rings. Uh, up till now, gusto ko siya laruin ulit. Tapos uh, ano pa ba? Metal Slug games and uh, FIFA. Yung bike game. Ano ba yung downhill? Yung SSX Tricky. And uh, I think dung pagdating ng grade 6, dun na kami nagkaroon ng sariling PS2, yung slim version pa. It was it was cheaper than the fat version and uh, it was all the rage back then. Dun rin siguro ako nagsimula maglaro ng mga single player games kasi may muwang na ako. Kayang-kaya ko na magintindihin yung mga complex stuff sa mga laro tulad ng Metal Gear Solid 3 or Kingdom Hearts 2, yung Bully, all-time favorite then by the way, yung Need for Speed Underground and many more. Ang dami ang daming laro nung PS nung PS2 era. Saya. Now, the PlayStation 3 is when I got really invested in single player games. Rinigaluan kami ng papa ko nung high school na ako and for a few months, the only game I had or oh, was uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots kasi dati sa mga dinakalam the PS3 is also the first uh, console to um, incorporate Blu-ray disc and sobrang mahal yung Blu-ray disc dati so yun lang yung laro ko MGS4 magdamag I think I spent like more than a hundred hours just playing MGS4 from start to finish and then it was also the first game I platinum kasi yun na talaga nalalaro ko eh. So nag big boss run sa ko yung mga tipong matapos ko yung laro in just 3 hours and then uh purely stealth, no kills and all that. Ganung mga ganung classing challenges ng saya. I miss those days. Tapos pagdating nung college, dun na dumami yung mga laro ko kasi nangipaghiram na lang ako dun sa mga klasiko or kaya may kaibigan ako na may uh, pwede kami mag-swap ng games or I can sell this and then I buy a different game. So yun yung mga classic uh, eras of uh, game share. Sharing. Tapos madalas talaga pag uwi ko from the university, lalaro agad ako ng PS3. Doon ko rin naranasan na matuwa tuwing may holiday o pag may suspension ng classes kasi kapag laro ako. Tapos may times din na tipong pag linagnat ako, medyo masaya ako kasi makakapaglaro ako ng The Last of Us. So kaya makakalaro ako ng Nino Kuni imbis na pumasok. Ganun. Doon ko natatapos yung mga laro ko eh pag linalagnat ako kasi dire-diretso buong araw. Walang pahinga. <laughs> Duh, wag niyo akong tularan guys, okay? Don't do that pag may lagnat kayo, okay? So, my favorite PS3 games of all time, well, of course, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots, and uh, The Last of Us, Nino Kuni, by the way, please play Nino Kuni, it's super underrated, and uh, of course, the Assassin's Creed Ezio trilogy, uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and of course, Yakuza 3. Now we go to the beloved PlayStation 4. Uh, mag english muna ako dito ha. Kasi di ko may express ng maayos to pag di ako nag-English. Alright, so the PS4 probably has the most sentimental value for me. Because it's the first console I ever bought with my own hard-earned money. And it's also the console that connected me with the Sony PlayStation Company and opened up super cool once-in-a-lifetime opportunities like attending yearly PlayStation Experience events or meeting video game personalities like Brian Deckard or uh, Square Enix uh, developers and even meeting Hideo Kojima, my favorite game developer and of course meeting the hardworking people behind PlayStation Asia. Kaya lahat ng best memories ko with PlayStation, nakita nyo na. Kasi sinishare ko dito sa YouTube channel ko eh. And you guys paid witness to our journey with PlayStation and I'm super happy you guys are part of it. As for my best PS4 games of all time, it's pretty much all the games you've seen me play here in my YouTube channel. So I'm hoping you guys are looking forward for the next generation of games coming to the PS5. So ito na nga, buksan na natin ang 
precious P5, guys. Oh man, I can't wait. Ah, oh, this awesome new box smell. Parang ayoko pa buksan eh, pero we have to. So we got a free cam there courtesy of Janila. And then we have here an overhead camera. For the first time, an overhead camera. Oh, yay! Alright, so here we go. The unboxing of the PS5. Don't worry, I ko not to unbox it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it or anything. I'll be super careful with this. Uh, man. Where do I start? Pull it out. Boom! Right off the bat. Paperwork. Manual, more papers. Power cord, and then. Ooh! The controller. Look at that. This is the new DualSense PS5 controller. Look at that. Yay! Kayo una nakita ko hindi pa. Oh wow, nice. Look at that, guys. Ain't that cool? I don't know. There you go. The new futuristic PS5 controller. Yo, I'm digging the color. If there's anything I super like about this, it's the color. Black and white is totally my thing. And uh, here's something that's very, very intriguing for a lot of people. If you guys can zoom in really close, na hita niyan yung uh, buttons niya. The grips are pretty much the PlayStation buttons. Like it's super small, like really, really small. So what we have here is the PS4 controller and the PS5. Kita niyo dito, and there you go. So right off the bat, may kita niyo mas slim yung PS4. It does retain like the original PlayStation uh, controller design. But if you take a look at the new PS5 controller. It's a bit bulkier, rounder, and a, a step bit different from the previous designs. See? Compare that. And, and notice the controller buttons here. So this is like the default one. Uh, it doesn't have the color-coded buttons anymore. So it's more crystalline in nature, if you guys can see that. Yeah, yeah. See? Cool. And so again... PS5 controller, PlayStation 4 controller. There you go. As for how it feels, ganun pa rin. Parang PlayStation controller pa rin siya. Like, if you put your hands on it, parang may, may memory yung kamay mo kung paano yung, yung pakiramdam ng isang PlayStation controller. And it still retains that. Thankfully, it did. Okay, yun yung pinaka we no worry ko dati. Yung nakita ko yung design niya. Like, would it feel different or not? But, with the col uh, control scheme, the way my fingers uh, are uh, positioned uh, with this controller, parang ganun, may ano pa rin, may kumbaga muscle memory siya in a way. So that's good. It retains the old PlayStation feel. So that's plus points for me. But what's super different right off the bat is yung, asa na ba yung US? Yun. There you go, kita niyo yan. It now has a USB type C port unlike the previous one na uh, USB micro lang. So uh, this is a good uh, upgrade in a way because a lot of our gadgets nowadays are USB type C. Actually the only USB micro cord I'm using right now is to charge this one. So buti na lang uh, they changed it to the USB type C. This is good and it should charge faster. So yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to its aesthetics. Uh, it's more matte white in a way, which is plus points for me. I love the matte white. It's kind of like a stormtrooper looking thing, very futuristic. So tama na muna tayo dito sa controller. Dami na natin sa sa controller, you know? It's pretty cool. You know what I'm I still prefer the old design because it's so classic, right? But this one, well, if Sony is actually trying to go for the futuristic uh, approach, well, they're on the right track. It's a controller. Pa lang. So I'm gonna put this down for now. Hopefully, we can see the pinaka console. Oh boy. Oh, what's this? We have here 
PlayStation stand. There you go. So this is for uh, putting it on a horizontal or in a vertical position. HDMI cables and the charging USB Type C cable for your controller. There you go. Nice. Asa na yung console. Ah, there it is. Hello there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I'm stuck there. Wow, okay. Wow, I was expecting it to be a lot bigger, but whoa. Are you ready for this? I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Feels like I'm rushing everything, but. Man, I am. Oop, oof. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But don't worry, the PS5 is tough. Ayan na. Sa kabalot pa rin siya. Ano ba yun? Pag suspense. The moment we've been waiting for. We've been waiting for this for so many years, guys. The PS5. Look. At that. Ooh, that is sexy. <laughs> You're mine now. <laughs> Yo, yeah, dude, it's the PS5! Oh, man, I am one of the first here in the Philippines to have this. Ah. <sighs> it's so good. It's not that big. To be honest, which is good, save space in a way. So I have here the standard edition because it has the disc slot. The digital version is a lot slimmer because it doesn't have the disc drive. Let me just remove this though. Yeah, there you go. And yeah, this is like the side view, and then this is the back view, and and front view there. There you go. Cool. Now, if you guys look closely, I don't know if you can see the camera. I don't know if you can But uh, the same button grip uh, texture is right over here. The patterns of the buttons, the square, triangle, X circle, and the other side. So that's a pretty nice and very small detail. Um, and. Ito ha, to be honest, nung una kong nakita yung design ng PlayStation 5, sa una medyo na turn off ako. Because, nas, hindi naman sa pangit yung design niya. It's more of like, nasanay ako dun sa robust, edgy design ng mga previous PlayStation. Kasi pag nakita mo to, pag tinignan mo to, diba, it, it, it doesn't look like a PlayStation. Let's, let's say for example, compared dito sa... Ah, ito, ito. I have here a dusty <laughs> PlayStation 4. There, ayan. Ito yung PlayStation 4. See the comparison? See? The robust, edgy design of the PS4 versus the new, slim, sleek, sexy, futuristic, alienish, monolith design of the PS5. It's like a. So, prang ibanya eh. It's a step away from the previous designs. I mean, the PS3 had like a curb hump before, but it still had like that robust feel on it. This one, however, it's just super futuristic. You wouldn't say it's a game console. It, it looks more of like, I don't know. But again, it's not a bad design. Uh, if, I mean, if Sony again is going for the futuristic approach here, you know, just to scream, new generation then i guess they're in the right um path here so i am one thing for sure the controller plus the console they complement each other and playstation 4 playstation 5 there you go nice so punta naman natin tong stand niya itong ps5 stand so, uh, depende sa preference mo kung gusto mo nakatayo siya or nakahiga siya. Uh, one way to, uh, I think, to set this up is, uh, wait lang. I think ganito, yan, there you go. So, if you want it vertical, 
a yin sha. And then you hook it somewhere here. Sa likod. Yun, boom. See? See how it fits snugly there? Boom. Oh, that is kind of satisfying. <laughs> you want to uh, make sure that it's standing. Uh, there's a screw right here in the bottom. You guys see that? There. So, you take that screw out. There. And once you put the PlayStation 5 and dock it here, you're going to screw it under it so that it secures it. So, I think that's cool. Oh, by the way, so look at the ports at the back. We have two USB 3.0. Uh, we have one HDMI and one Ethernet or LAN uh, LAN port and of course the power port and if you look at the front of it It also has one USB port probably for charging your uh, controller. It has a USB type C as well And there's a lot of things here. So the power button and the eject button So Glocko, the PS5 can pretty much stand on its own without this right but what if i want it horizontal it's gonna look awkward see because the design of the ps5 if you look at it from eye level under it see that if you look at it from there it's not flat okay so what we do is we still need this stand and how do you do that you attach this somewhere here there you go and then boom you now have a horizontal ps5 see that it's flat now so enough of the aesthetics okay i think you guys are also here to see how it actually performs so, dito natin susubukan yung actual gameplay performance niya, yung haptic feedback, yung dual sense, yung adaptive triggers and all that, yung ultra high SSD niya. We're gonna go and see all of that in the next scene. So, I'm just gonna set things up. Alright, it's gonna take a while. So, ayan. All right, here we go. So I've connected the PlayStation 5 to a capture card so that we can fully record and uh, well, capture the full potential of the PS5. So I'm about to turn it on. Same way as a PS4, just press the PS button. There you go. And you guys should see it in a bit. <laughs> Look at that. I'm digging this home menu. Alright, so we'll select this. And the interface is pretty familiar. Uh, but instead of uh, all the buttons and the menu uh, displayed in the middle, uh, as opposed to um, the PlayStation 4, uh, the PS5 has all the menu items right at the top left corner. So I'm very happy they decided to keep like the minimalistic or clean uh, user interface. I like this. All right, so today we're gonna play Demon Souls. Uh, this is the OG Dark Souls for those who don't know. The original brutal challenge entirely rebuilt. So here we go, Demon Souls. Yosh, can't wait. Oh wow, it it plays out right from the menu. Here we go, new game. Body type. Ah uh, yes, I want to be a girl. I want to be an aesthetic female. Alright, player name. Uh, you know what, for now, I'm uh, uh, hunt, uh, I don't know. Uh, Alright, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna go barbarian. Can I bug check? I cannot bug check right now. Okay. Barbarian it is. Appearance. Uh, oh wow, okay, cool. I think I'll go with... Oh wow, this is nice. Dude, look at the textures, dude. Look at the texture on that. The skin and everything. Yo, okay. 
age. Let's see how much she wrinkles with age. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> ooh. That is cool. So the youngest is 20 years old. Okay, you know what? Uh, this is it. I am done. It's finalized. I just want to hop into the game. We're going to call him Fish. Don't ask me why. Just I'm just going to call her Fish for now. There. Nice. Just for the sake of this demo. The twelfths by channeling the power of souls. Oh, that is... Did you guys notice any his northern kingdom of loading? That is... I did not notice any loading. <laughs> I'm not even sure if there was supposed to be a loading screen there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna skip this for now. Let's see. Let's see if there's actually a loading screen. Right? And skip. Here we go. No loading screens, guys. Unless this is part of the loading screen, but I'm I'm feeling. The water steps. Okay, nararamdaman ko yung pagtapak niya sa tubig. With this haptic feedback. Like, it's, um... The vibrations is, like, concentrated on... Uh, on small parts of the controller. Like, uh, if she steps on one foot, it vibrates here. And then if she steps on the other one, it vibrates here. And now it's vibrating all over. Hey, I'm feeling it. And here we go, boys. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Is this what they call the ray tracing of the light? How it spreads and stuff? Look at that Tyndall effect. Ganda. Oh, wait, what did I do? Did I just. Oh, I just healed myself. Boom. Water splashes. flashes. Um, I don't know how to. Uh, how do I roll? Stop drinking stuff in. Alright. Read message. R1 standard attack. Got it. Dude, you gotta appreciate how the light works here. See that? See my trinket? That glowing trinket? How, see how it bounces off the the walls? This is how uh, an actual flashlight would, you know, or let's say for some of you are flashing your phone on a dark wall. This is how it would look like. Impressive. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, yeah. Good thing we picked the Barbarian. <laughs> Man, this game looks impressive. Oh. Not a lot of motion blur as well. Okay. Uh, direction, hold, and sprint. Oh, okay. Nice. I hear something. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, every hit, I feel it all over my fingers with this controller. It's not like the rumble like, that goes... It's more of like... Kind of like how a cell phone vibrates, but more minuscule. And it just goes through your fingertips. Galing. Alright, alright. I'm digging it. Target lock release. Okay. There you go. Hello. Uria, Uria, ah, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Nice, uh, man, I'm digging it. Mate. Yep, if I bash the wall, I I feel all the vibrations right here, just right here, in this part of the controller, like boom. <laughs> Look at the droplets of water over there. Look at the reflections. That looks so good. That looks really good. See how I changed my camera angle? See how the light reflects and adapts? That is cool. Alright, we are done here. Dude, this just looks so freaking nice. Like this angle right here. See how the light travels and bounces off? Ah, uh, this is impressive. And we are outside. Whew! a good looking castle Glauco, can you bug check yeah uh, I, I i don't think i can i'm not sure uh yeah i don't see anything oh Ow, i'm trying to bug check bruh mm. 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 oh well, what's this oh hey it's our bonfire rather arc stone yes did we get teleported Ooh. forlorn outpost okay all right 
Strong attack. Got it. Uh, again, wait. Just appreciate how the light is shown here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy. Mm. Mm, strong attack. Ugh. Strong attack. Yeesh. Jeez. And... Oh! Oh, there you go! Oh, yeah! Ooh, I need to practice that. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, you do feel every enemy attack. Like, whenever they attack me, the controller still vibrates minusculely around this part. Okay, you know what? I think we've seen enough of how the world looks like, but... Right now, I really want to know how the adaptive triggers work. Like, with a bow. Right, with a bow. So I'm gonna recreate my character. Oh, there he is. Mm hmm So, vibrates when you pull, vibrates when you release. That's nice. Ah! Okay! I see! Okay, watch this, watch this. So, I press it lightly, it readies the bow. And then if I press it down a bit, that's where it knocks it up and it, it vibrates. But this is just like half pressing it. And then if I release it again just a bit, he releases the bow as well. And then if I press it again just a bit, it vibrates. Oh, okay! I see! Alright, and if I release it completely, there you go. Are you ready? You, you, can ha you can feel from the controller, it stops. It stops right here before you are uh, ready to, uh, what do you call this, pull the bow. And then the rest of it is just pressing it ever so slightly down. And you can really feel it. You can really feel that, okay, you're ready to shoot the bow. Ganun siya. Ganun yung feeling niya. Alright, let me show it to you guys again. So, uh, L2 to zoom, and then R2 is the trigger button. So you press it like this, lightly it stops there, like you, you will feel a resistance right there, it stops. But it just readies the bow, right? And then if you press just a bit downwards, you'll feel the button and it will have a resistance and it will vibrate. And there you go. And then if you press it all the way down, that's when you really, really release it. And then just let it go, boom. But let's say, for example, um, you press it all the way down, right? And then you slowly raise it up again. It disengages the bow. So that is a cool feature, guys. That's how adaptive, uh, <laughs> adaptive triggers work. That is so freaking cool. I'm not sure if the PlayStation 4 had this. Dude, I can't wait. This is nice. This is a whole new experience. So again, not only does it have adaptive triggers, but the triggers themselves also have hap a haptic feedback. All right. So uh, you will feel the vibrations, especially when you're uh, at this point, uh, at this point when you're really engaging the bow, that's when it vibrates. That's when it tells you that, hey, you're about to let this thing go and kill something. Yun, that's how it works. So yep, I think that's it. I've uh, pretty much showed you guys all the things that you'd expect from the PS5 right at the get-go. I don't want to spoil you guys too much about Demon Souls because I do plan on making a playthrough of this. So <laughs> there you go. And uh, we noticed that there were no loading screens as far as we saw. We didn't see any loading screens. That's all thanks to the ultra high speed SSD. And then the dual sense wireless controller is pretty cool. I'm loving the haptic feedback, especially the adaptive triggers. So there you have it, guys. That's our first look and experience on the new PlayStation 5. Again, the PS5 comes out on December 11, 2020 here in the Philippines. Oh yeah, the giveaway. So for the giveaway, 10 lucky winners will have a chance to win two, yep, two, one for you and one for your gaming buddy. Two of these PlayStation Fun Packs. Ano pa tong PlayStation Fun Packs ito? Well, first off, it's a sling bag. Look at that. Sling bag, it's pretty big. And inside of this awesome sling bag, there's nothing in here. Oh wait, 
it has another zipper or pocket right over here. Cool. All right. There you go. So we have here embroidery patches. This. Yeah. So you can uh, attach it anywhere. We also have here. What is this? Oh, a card holder. Here we go. Card holder for your baggage. And this one. See that? A retractable strap with a PlayStation logo. That is cool. And lastly, we have here a shoe bag. See that? Boom. That is so cool. A bag in a bag. There. Shoe bag. So yep, that's inside the PlayStation fan pack. Now, how do you join the giveaway? So it's pretty easy. Just share this video in your social media platforms, make it public, and then include the hashtag, hashtag Glocko Gaming, hashtag PlayStation Asia, and hashtag Play has no limits. All right, there you go. You can add a pretty awesome caption like a uh, what do you call this? A, a good memory of the PlayStation or something. You don't have to, but you know who knows? Maybe if I see your caption as something very sentimental, I might pick you. So mm, you'll never know. So the drawing of the winners will be announced on a later date. All right, just make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and keep that notification bell on so that you guys can be updated whenever I post something on the community tab. So watch out. So probably like a week after this video is uploaded, I'll announce some winners. So. Oh, and uh, this giveaway is only open for uh, residents of the Philippines, okay, so that I can send it to you. All right, if you're living somewhere else, I'm so sorry, I can't. Alright. <laughs> so yep, there we go. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for the PS5. And for sure, I'm gonna make a playthrough of Demon Souls and the other upcoming PS5 games in the future, especially Resident Evil Village. Grabe, tuloy tuloy yung English ko. I'm very sorry, guys. Basta nag English na ako, sunod sunod na yan. Pero yun nga, maraming, maraming salamat ulit sa Sony PlayStation for sending us our very own PS5. Lalo na sa PlayStation Asia. I love you guys. You guys know who you are. And of course, sa ating Glow community for the never ending awesome support they have for our PlayStation content. Hindi tayo papansinin ng PlayStation kung hindi nyo rin papanoorin o susuportahan yung mga PlayStation content natin. So, maraming maraming salamat. Okay? We have this right now because of you guys. So, uulitin ko lang po, December 11, 2020, ang release date ng PS5 dito sa Pilipinas. So, good luck sa mga magpipre-order or sa mga kukuha on the day. And, uh, ingat sa mga scalpers, okay? So, yep, that's it. I am super excited, not just because I get to play the PS5, but I'm super excited for you guys sa mga kukuha ng PlayStation, sa PS community, to everyone who's gonna celebrate the launch of the PlayStation 5 on December 11. I can't wait to start seeing you guys post stuff about the PS5 and all that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do leave a like and uh, maybe share some of your favorite PlayStation moments down in the comments. I love reading those, all right? So yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next videos.